here to show you the trials and the tribulations of the legendary Ogre Show. You might want to buckle your seatbelts because this is an epic journey of rags to riches. I will show you how the whole of Skyrim became a swamp land and how it's all over. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the orc! There it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next prisoner! To the block, prisoner. Nice and easy. Shirk had found himself in a spot of trouble. He had been exiled from his home village for inappropriately touching kids and was on the run. He had run far, far away, and he thought he had escaped the claws of the angry village people. However, he was wrong. He was turned in by his so-called trusty friend, Donke, and he had to face the chopping block. Donke's wife, Mrs. Donke, also known as Dragon, had other ideas. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds! After a fortunate turn of events, Shirk took the opportunity to run. Our hero Shirk felt adrenaline pumping through his meaty veins. He started to sweat, releasing an overpowering onion odor. Nice narration, thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Easy Mrs. Donkey, you almost blew my freaking bonnet off! Shit! Shirk exclaimed. See the inn on the other side? Jump through the roof and keep going! Go! We'll follow when we can! Gotta find a way out of here! if you want to stay that way. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. Shirk had to resist the urges to pick up the child and make a dash for it. So instead, he just teabagged him in front of his father. It was now that Chirk had to make the choice of a lifetime. 
repent for his sins and join those that were about to kill him, or run away like a fucking coward. Stay tuned for next time folks, and remember, shirk is love, shirk is life.